this is Stampy Longnose, and welcome to a let's play of the PlayStation Network game called Journey. And this is going to be a blind let's play. So, Stampy Longnose, and welcome to a Minecraft video. And I'm bringing you something very different today. This is me meeting my number one fan, and I'm going to quickly explain. Hello, this is Stampy Longnose, and welcome to a Minecraft let's play video. And what a beautiful day it is in my lovely world. With Stampy Cat. Stampy Cat is a popular, popular kid friendly YouTuber with over 6 million subscribers. Today I'll be making a video on Stampy. I want to say thank you for all the support on my recent videos. Make sure to subscribe and like. But, anyways, without further ado, let's begin. Who is Stampy? He started his first YouTube channel in 2006. He would go on to create another channel with the name Stampy Longhead and made his first video on that channel on July 2nd. 2012. In his first video, he would play a game by the name of Journey, and for a few months he would continue with this kind of content until he struck gold with a game known as Minecraft. I got a few messages from someone saying that they're a subscriber and they like my videos, so I just replied saying thank you very much. Then a little bit later on, uh, my friends Crimson Azov and Afro Dan sent me a message saying that uh, one of my fans had added them as a friend and joined their party, and apparently he joined their party when I wasn't there and kept going on about me and my video. His first video was called Minecraft, meeting my number one fan. He would continue with Minecraft and other games for a while until he decided just to stick to Minecraft. There seems to be some lost history around the time he started playing Minecraft. Maybe some videos were deleted. I just thought it was interesting. He would go on to create the Lovely World series, where he had many people come on his world, known as helpers, to help with various episodes. Undoubtedly, the most popular thing to ever come out of Stampy was this series. Every kid back then was watching him, and his content was perfect for the age group. Hello, this is Stampy Longnose, and welcome to a new Let's Play of the Xbox 360 edition of Minecraft. Uh, this is going to be my first ever time playing Minecraft. Uh, I mean, I've seen quite a few videos of it uh, online and stuff, the Yogcast and that. With basic info out of the way, I want to focus on why it was unlikely, at the time at least, that Stampy fell. Because like I said, he popped off hard. He was so popular that he even appeared on TV and on a talk show. I did it as a hobby for years without any thought whatsoever of doing it as a job. It was only when it started to become popular where like, I saw that there was an opportunity here. Can you just explain the bare bones, the essentials of what's happening? His timeline on YouTube isn't that deep and you could probably find this out for yourself. But basically, once Stampy realized that Minecraft was hitting different for him, he made different series while still playing Minecraft. Still, the most popular series was his Lovely World series. Long-winded 25 to 30 minute videos. Just goes to show that people back then actually sat through these kind of long-ended videos. Something that would eventually contribute to his downfall. You see, with time comes changes. People don't always stay the same age, and in the case of Stampy, this is no different. Sunny V2 also talks about this, and I mainly agree with his points. His main audience in his glory days were kids, and by pandering to this, he has to accept the inevitable. Your fan base will leave you. If you don't change with them, they will be gone. As for Stampy, he refused to change, and no one should have forced Stampy to change, and it's his right to do what he wants with his own channel, but if you look at his channel in more recent days, he can now retain the same audience. Once someone gets older, they simply leave. My channel is dying. A lot of people have been saying that my views have been dropping a lot, it's nothing like it used to be, and you know, gradually my channel is going to, to fade away into non-existence or die, basically. No one's going to be watching it. And so, uh, yeah, I thought it's quite an interesting topic to, to talk about, kind of whether I think it is, you know, if it is, what do I think about it, or what am I going to, to do about it? So that's basically what this is going to be. The type of YouTube videos that Stampy makes are also unfavored by YouTube. In recent years, YouTube has wanted more watch time than smaller videos, etc. But it isn't the same as it used to be back then, when Stampy was popular at least. I still to this day watch a lot of Minecraft videos, and never once has Stampy been recommended to me. The algorithm could just be simply disliking his videos, but for a channel like Stampy, who survives on having different waves of kids every so often, it shoots his town on a foot, because he relies on the people to stumble on his channel. How do you find people when you don't even know their name? To that extent, of course I care about views. Of course I do. I wouldn't upload the videos if I didn't. But I think there's a difference be between, you know, caring about the views to a certain extent because you want to see the, the reaction and you want to be able to, to carry on doing YouTube compared to creating the videos for the views. 
A big contributor to his downfall that also people like Sunny V2 brought up was someone known as Alfred Lee. To summarize, Lee was a helper on Snappy's channel and will go on to be a staple of his channel as well. A fan favorite, you could say. Joined by Esther and Lee Bear. Good morning, Lee Bear. How are you feeling today? If you're in a good mood, then just go. This was until he appeared on Drama Alert for some unspeakable things. And Stampy Cat also has a good friend known as L4 Lee. Now, the much older Stampy Cat in real life is friends with the younger L4 Lee. He was shunned off the internet and Stampy would go on to make a video having L4 Lee's character leave the world canonically. A book for me. Okay, Lee Bear's passed me a book. What does this say? Uh, Dear Stampy, I'm afraid to tell you that I am leaving. I have been your number one helper for years, but I feel like you no longer need me. I am going to travel across the world looking for people that need help. I will also try and track down hit the target so you and your dogs will be safe. Thanks for all the fun, Lee Bear. I left you a present in the in the chest. You're leaving, Lee Bear. Lee Bear's leaving. Oh, bye, Lee Bear. G goodbye. Don't get me wrong. What Alfred Lee did was horrible, but I don't think it really had an effect on Stampy's downfall. Really, only adults understood the severity of the problem. But adults aren't the one who's watching his videos. Kids are. As to the kids who watched the videos, as far as they knew, Lee just left. Lee would come back later, making a video explaining why he left and some other things, but the damage was done. In addition to Lee, Stampy also knew someone known as Line Maker. This story goes on the same as the last one. He would be exposed on Drama Alert, eventually leading to his downfall. Two days ago, we did a story on Lion Maker, a Minecraft YouTuber who is a pedophile, who has been trying to hook up with children, who is dating or was dating a 15 year old. But just like the last one, kids don't understand the severity of the problem. Yet another person was just leaving the channel to them. I just want to make it clear that I believe Stampy never had any correlation to the terrible things that either of them did and they acted independently on their own and decided to do these bad things. All in all, Stampy is just Stampy. He loves making his own kind of videos and doesn't like adhering to modern YouTube. And I think a lot of people today could learn a thing or two from that. However, Stampy is now a relic of the past and the lovely world days are a forgotten era. YouTube just isn't the same and I wish Stampy the best. But if he doesn't change, he won't grow.